Welcome back everyone. We've been following the track of this Colorado low that developed in the Rocky Mountains exited Colorado now has made its way to Iowa and on the northern fringes. We continue to see some areas of rain from lakes country, seeing some light showers, the FM area down into Ellendale. We're not seeing heavy rain, but enough for a bit of accumulation, making for a, a little bit of a soggy Friday afternoon. I know I ran some errands earlier, not necessarily pleasant with the wind driving the showers and it's a cool day as well. 53 right now here in Fargo sunset 644 and that wind still gusting out of the northeast at 28 miles per hour. Grand Forks, we've got some sunshine 53 dry so far today and will remain dry. Northeasterly winds gusting to 26 miles per hour. Here's a look at that wind trend. The strongest gusts closer to the center of low pressure, which is south of us. So the Southern Valley seeing the strongest winds gusting to 32 miles per hour in Alexandria. And the coolest temperatures have been south today thanks to the extensive cloud cover and that kind of rain cooled air mid 40s. The rest of us seeing some low to mid 50s. So not a warm day, especially when you factor in a bit of that wind. The wind's going to stick with us through the rest of the evening, but the rain showers diminishing by later tonight. So when you're tuning back in for Valley News Live at 10, I only expect a few lingering rain showers still in the Southern Valley, but eventually exiting through the overnight hours and remaining mostly cloudy through tonight. Still a little bit breezy heading into our Saturday, mostly cloudy skies, temperatures only in the upper 40s to low 50s. So another cool day, but the wind much less gusty and we're not going to see rain for tomorrow looking like a pretty dry day, perhaps a sprinkle here and there, but not enough to ruin any outdoor plans up to a half an inch still possible in the far southern valley before the system completely exits later on tonight for tomorrow looking pretty cloudy in the morning temperatures upper 30s to low 40s afternoon upper 40s to low 50s and same thing across the river in Minnesota as well. So a couple peaks of sun. Unfortunately, we have the solar eclipse tomorrow. It is looking pretty cloudy. I will have more details on that coming up at the end of the show, but here's a look at your extended forecast. A little bit more sun heading into our work week. Our next chance of showers arrives on Wednesday and still expecting a few days in those low 60s. So temperatures uh, going up from here today. Justin is the coolest day, at least for a little while. Yeah, a little dreary today, but the rest of the forecast looks pretty nice this yeah, time of year. Thanks, bad. Summer. It's Fire Prevention Week, and still to come, we have some tips on how you can keep yourself and your family safe this fall.